Hello everybody, this is Trust in Lies, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, one of my worlds that I'm building. Uh, as you might have noticed, if you were quick enough to catch that, there's a Hogwarts on there. Well, that was not far enough away from the edge to work, so we're having to rebuild it. Really sucks, but... Um, just a quick little, this is about three quarters of the lower dungeons that are built. Um, this side is pretty much done, other than lights, and probably doors. Let me find, uh, yeah, no doors, no lights, uh, no decoration, decoration is going to come last after the entire castle is built. As you can see, it's, it's pretty pretty big um like i said this is like maybe th probably closer to two-thirds than three-quarters of the entire lower dungeon which is bigger than the upper dungeon but is a lot so not a lot it's smaller than the ground floor um also have the chamber of secrets done water on the outside so that when you're inside it drips through and also gives you the sound of water moving because Hogwarts is supposed to, or Chamber of Secrets is supposed to be down the pipes and everything got a little snake there's a challenge to go through and uh... when you go through you're going to be able to actually go go through and complete the Chamber of Secrets because this is supposed to be an adventure map um, that is the ultimate goal, is for you to be able to play through all seven years of Hogwarts. And this section won't be accessible because it'll be behind a painting until after you complete the second year. But like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a quick show of uh, Hogwarts so far. And it's going to be huge. My, my basis for measurement was the width of a hallway, which is six across. And each wall is three thick, so you can have secret passageways and secret rooms and stuff like that. But this is all going to be blocked off once it's done, except for where you can get in with secret rooms and stuff. But to give you guys a little bit more of a, a size thing... About how much is left to build this is the start of one corner of a room right here the room is 45 blocks this way and 36 blocks that way so it's pretty big um like i said all hallways are six thick or six wide with the exception of some that are supposed to be smaller and i don't like how that looks Or, sorry, got rid of the wrong one. Um, get rid of those. And this is how a lot of it's been. It's trial and error, figuring stuff out. I do have plans. Actually, none of that's going to work, so... I think I'm actually going to have to fudge this a little bit. The door's going to end up going right there. These rooms were a pain. Most of the rooms are going to be straight like those. But I will be doing uh, some more U-builds while I'm actually building it. I'm sort of frustrated with it right now because uh, my computer went into sleep mode while hooked up to my Elgato, which made my Xbox restart. Um, and I hadn't had a chance to save the progress. I had finished these rooms and was starting the big area down at the end of the hall that's right here. So I'm going to take a break from this and I'll be recording a Let's Play, which just so you guys know, I don't do Let's Plays very often. I don't play in Peaceful, or not Peaceful, I don't play on Survival very often. So I'm not exactly used to it anymore since Creative Mode came out. So it might be a little funny watching me try and play. I am going to be playing on Peaceful at first, for the first one. 
just so I can get set up with a little house and everything. So, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll see you back on the next one.